In this video, we solve problem 3.1.26-T from the Essentials of Statistics, text 6th edition by Mario Triola. We're asked to use the magnitudes, which are given on the Richter scale, of the earthquakes listed in the data set below. We're asked to find the mean and median of this data set. And the question says, is the magnitude of an earthquake measuring 7.0 on the Richter scale an outlier? That is a data value that is very far away from the others when considered in the context of the sample data given in this data set. And then we're asked to explain. Now this little dash T on the problem ID for this problem just means that the creators of this problem or the writers of this problem intended for you to use technology. And of course, we could use a calculator. Um, or we could do all of the arithmetic by hand, but the intention is for us to use technology and we'll see why when we click on the icon. It says click on the icon to view the earthquake Richter scale data. And so you've got actually 50 numbers here. I'm going to open this in Excel. The first thing we're asked to do is find the mean and median of the data set. So I'm going to use Excel to do this. So we're here, and we've got 50 items, I can tell, because I've got 50 row, rows in my spreadsheet, and we haven't included um, a row at the very beginning for a name for the data set. So we've got 50 rows, that means I've got 50 values. Now if I want to compute the mean of this, what I would need to do is add these together and then divide by the total number of values. So I can write, or I can type right here, equals sum, open parentheses, and then I can select those 50 data values. Or you can type directly A1 colon A50, close parentheses, and then when you hit enter, it's gonna calculate the sum of that. Um, the sum of those 50 values is 81.01. I'm going to highlight that just to differentiate that cell from the rest of the data set. And then down here, I would like to show you how to count these. So we would type equals count, open parentheses, and select your data. Now we already know that there's 50 because we've got 50 rows in our data set, but sometimes our list of data isn't lined up like that. It's not listed with its first entry in that first row and first column of our spreadsheet. So it's helpful to know how to count um, a number of items. So just type equals count open parentheses, select the data, close parentheses, and you see that there are 50 there. So the mean is um, this sum, so I select this cell, so I, excuse me, I type equals and then I select this cell, divided by the total number of items, that's that count, and then if I hit enter, I get the mean. Now another way to get the mean is to just use um, Excel's average function. Even though our textbook author says not to use the word average, he says that statisticians um, don't use the word average because they consider it to be ambiguous, um, Excel uses the word average and people use the word average in conversation all the time. So um, that's the name of the function that we would use in Excel to calculate that average. We, so we write equals average, open parentheses, and then select the cells. And notice if we add them together and divide by 50, we get the same number as if we use that function. So that is the answer um, for the mean for that data set. Let's go back to our homework assignment. Ooh, I'm having trouble finding it. Let's see, I'll go here and then I'll click here. There it is. And they say round to three decimal places as needed. And that was 1.620 to three decimal places. Oops. Okay, they like that. Then we're asked to find the median of the data set, excuse me, round to three decimal places as needed. So let's go to our data again in Excel. If you've got 50 values, 
um, since they're an even number of values, the median is the, the mean, what we would traditionally call the average of the two values in the middle. Half of 50 is 25. So entries 25 and 26 are actually the two values in the middle. So we'll add those together. So I'll write equals, open parentheses, the value. Oh, actually, I'm not ready to do that yet. First, we've got to sort them. If you don't sort them first, you're going to get the wrong answer. So first, sort from smallest to largest. There we go. And that looks right now. And now you want to look at the two values in the middle. So look at entry number 25 and 26. When they're sorted, we've got 1.71 and 1.75. You want to add those together and divide by two. So we'll type equals, open parentheses, the entry in A25 plus the entry in A26, close parentheses, and then um, divide by two, hit enter, and that gives you the median, 1.73. And they want that to three decimal places, so we'll say 1.730. Okay. And then the question says, is the magnitude of an earthquake measuring 7.0 on the Richter scale an outlier when considered in the context of the sample data given? So let's look at that data again. The highest one on our list is 2.99, so that is definitely an outlier. We'll say yes, because this value is very far away from all of the other data values. And that's it, that's how you use Excel to compute the mean and median um, when you have a larger data set.